Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Nolan Hudnut of Howell Boys Lacrosse. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing good. So, uh, uh, just really talk. Really, uh, how is this? Uh, how is this year going? Uh, this, this year's been going pretty well so far. Last year we had uh, Howell had uh, we tied our best record, best year. And we lost a lot of seniors last year. So we've been trying to kind of figure out where everybody lays uh, in terms of where the seniors left. You know, we have a lot of positions to fill and we've had a lot of positions to fill. And I think we've filled them pretty well. So I think right now we are uh, six and eight, I believe, is that record. So it's going pretty well. Yeah. So really just how have you kind of just seen, you know, this program kind of grow? Because you're in a conference with you know, Brighton's really good. Heartland's yep. really good. Northville's really good. And and really just, it's, uh, you know, some really, you know, some really tough teams all across the KLA. Yeah. So I think the, the, the biggest part of the team that that's definitely grown is the culture around here. My freshman year, I think we went three and 14, one of, one of Howell's worst years to record. And so since then, I think a big, you know, just the, the, the culture in the locker room has really changed on the field, going on the field. And I think like the, just the bond and the the family ties around has uh, improved a lot more. Yeah. So going into, you know, this season, really, what were you, you know, what were your goals kind of heading in uh, as you had, as you headed into the 2024 year? Uh, some of my goals definitely were to um, kind of prepare for graduate, I mean, graduation, uh, after, after graduation, I'm going to play lacrosse at Bellarmine, you yeah. know, down in Kentucky, they play Duke first, first game of the season, just about every year. And, um, I think, I, I think I wanted to use this season as, as a just practice season and get, you know, get some, get some confidence, really, really kind of start building my skill set that I know I'm going to have to use for, uh, for college. Yeah. So, um, really it's, yeah, you know, how did when did you know that you would that when did you know that you could possibly go, you know, possibly continue your lacrosse career? I think I knew pretty early. I mean, throughout youth lacrosse, I remember a lot of teams would kind of talk my name, speak my name. And so going into high school and being able to kind of really put that to the test, put my name to the test and stuff like that, I think probably probably freshman year is when I, I really kind of figured it out because that was when I was able to test it against, you know, big teams, Heartland, uh, Brighton, teams like that. So probably, probably freshman year. Yeah. Um, you know, really going in and just kind of continuing the season, you only have just a few more games left, um, you know, getting the win against, uh, getting a big win against Nova after, after kind of a rough stretch there uh, heading into, yeah. uh, heading into uh, a game against, uh, against Heartland on Monday. Yeah, so that the the little stretch we just had, I actually wasn't wasn't in town for. Uh, I'm a part of DECA, like the 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 business clubs. So I was down in California for that, and came back, and yeah, it was a rough little stretch, definitely. So, um, yeah, why, why, why don't we just talk about that? So you're involved. So obviously, if you're not familiar, DECA is the uh, where you have to like make business plans and all that. So it's like the, uh, a competition for people that are going into starting businesses. Yep. Uh, so what's it, so what was it like to go out in California and just kind of talk about what you guys have to do? Like, so, yeah. Uh, so this is my first year doing it. Um, you kind of, so you go every, every competition. So we had like districts, states, and then internationals. And for each competition, we had uh, a test we had to do a hundred question tests with about like a hundred minutes to complete each one. And then we had a, like a, a role play where we kind of, you're sat down and you had 30 minutes to figure out a plan for this little situation they give you. And then you go present that plan in front of a judge judge gives you a score. And then however, based on however you did, you either advanced or you're done. Okay. Uh, and how did you guys do out there? Out there, we did we did okay. It was it was a it was tough competition out there. There was twenty three thousand kids, so there was a lot of competition. It was pretty tough, but I think we did all right. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so I know you only have a few more weeks left to school and stuff. Um, yeah. Are you just uh, are you just counting down the days? Or are you uh, are you trying to soak everything in until for uh... school? For school, I'm counting down the days. Definitely lacrosse. I'm I'm soaking it in. You know, that's I I absolutely love lacrosse. But school, I'm I'm definitely counting down the days. 
Yeah. Um, do you realize that, I mean, to know that you're going to be graduating in a few weeks, did you ever think that this day would come? I, I knew it would come, you know, one day. It's uh, I can't believe how fast it's come. I remember it's funny. I keep telling everybody. I remember in fifth grade, we got these little shirts that said class of 2024. I was like, what does that even mean? And now it's it's here, you know, 2024 and I'm graduating. Yeah. Um, to continue, you know, to head down to uh, I can um, to head down to college to to play lacrosse. What, what does that, you know, kind of mean? And uh, what and I know your your summer is going to kind of be abbreviated a little bit because you're probably going to be heading down there in about a month. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think. I think I'm just excited to get used to kind of a whole I mean, a different team. I've been how I've been playing with these guys ever since I started playing the cross. I mean, 11 years, a lot of these guys I've been playing with. So it's, it's, it'll be a change for sure. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let's um, how do you like mentally get ready for a game? Mentally? I, I usually, usually I have my car ride, you know, to the, to the games, whether it's Parker or to the bus ride and my, you know, my car ride, get listen to my music, and I kind of just get set. That's that's usually what it is. I'll I'll, I'll just get set, and then I uh, I do what I do what I know works. I I have my stretching routine, you know, five ten stretches, however many it is that I go through, and then I run through some some hand equination drills. I just I get myself physically ready, and that makes me start feeling good. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's get to know you a little bit, Nolan. How about that? Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Um, favorite player in any sport? Favorite player. Uh, I don't watch anything much other than lacrosse, so I'd probably go with Kyle Burnlor or Dylan Ward. It's probably okay. my favorite. Okay. Um, let's see. Favorite. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, what's your what is uh what's your go to place for food? This is just in general. Go to place. Probably McDonald's, okay. cheap and easy, cheap and quick. Yeah, um, and easy to find too. Oh yeah, everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> McDonald's a rewards app. You can get two Big Macs for like eight bucks. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> um, favorite movie. Favorite movie, probably the Maze Runners. Any of the three, those are good. Okay. Um, what? And uh, finally, what is something people do not know about you? Something people do not know about me. Oh, we're looking for something interesting here. More like I'm a cat person than a dog person. I don't know, just well, that was one. Uh, yeah. Do you, have, do you have any other interesting things? I think I got two brothers. Um, both of them play lacrosse. I played lacrosse with uh, one of them for throughout high school. Uh, I'm the youngest of the two. Okay. Yeah, right. I got the, my trusty lacrosse net right over there that I've been. They've always been ripping on me, giving me bruises, giving me stuff like that. So, I mean, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Nolan, thanks so much for the time as always, and uh, best of luck the rest of the year. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. It's been great being here.